know, school, it's not all just work. Sometimes we have to have fun, right? And that is what today's lesson is about. We're going to learn a brand new word. And the new word that we are learning is tradition. Can you guys just say tradition? Tradition. Yeah, a tradition is something that you do over and over mm -hmm. again. For example, you might put out a menorah if your family is Jewish, and that is a tradition. You put out a menorah for Hanukkah. You might put up a Christmas tree every year for Christmas if your family celebrates Christmas. That would be one of your traditions. And one of the Thanksgiving traditions is eating on Thanksgiving Day. How many of you eat turkey on Thanksgiving Day? Anybody know? Oh, I see some hands up. Quite a few hands up. Lots hey, of Miss Frank. Yes. I'm sorry, Haley said you're unpinned or something. Oh, I should be spotlighted, but I'll try and do it again. See, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt. No, you're fine. I'll see if it works. There you go. All right. Sometimes it doesn't go. Yeah. All right. Thanks for letting me know, guys. So in my family, it is a tradition that I eat turkey with them. And most people in America that celebrate Thanksgiving Thanksgiving key on the table. That's a tradition. Pumpkin pie is a tradition. Getting together with family might be a tradition. I know sometimes people will go around the table and say what they're thankful for, and that's a tradition. So a tradition is something that you just always do. You do it over and over and over. So today I wanted to read a story to you to start off. And then we're going to talk about something fun you can do this week. Because basically, there has to be a little fun, right? This is a story called Turk and Runt. You know, runt is a word that they use when they're talking about animals. When there's a litter of puppies born or a litter of pigs, the littlest one is called the runt. So here's runt and here's his brother Turk. And they're getting ready for Thanksgiving in a very different way than we are. Turk's parents were so proud of him. He was the biggest, strongest, and most graceful bird on Wishbone, Wishbone Farms. He's a dancer, said his mother. He's an athlete, said his father. He's a goner, said his brother Runt. But no one ever listened to Runt. Every year, the farm animals looked forward to the excitement of autumn. Carloads of people came to pick red ripe apples from the orchard in September. Folks arrived to choose plump orange pumpkins from the field in October. And come November, it was turkey time. One by one, the fattest, roundest turkeys were chosen. Chosen for what? Asked Turk. To be the lead dancer in Swan Lake, said his mother. To play in the Thanksgiving Day football game, said his father. To be roasted and gently basted, said his brother Runt. But no one ever listened to Runt. Poor, poor Turk. His mom and dad do not understand Thanksgiving, but his brother does, right? So every morning in November, the family watched Turk practice his dance steps. One, two, three, lift. And every afternoon, the family watched Turk practice his football moves. 16, 23, 47, hike. He's getting stronger, said his mother. He's getting bigger, said his father. He's getting juicier, said Runt. Two days before Thanksgiving, 
Madame Waddell, the famous ballet instructor, arrived at Wishbone Farm. She came to choose a turkey. An audition, Mother squealed. It's your time to shine. Go out there and shake those tail feathers. Turk gracefully danced to the front of the barnyard. He leaped, he spun, he twirled and whirled. He did a triple somersault and landed in a split. So Turk's mom thinks that the ballet instructor wants him for a ballet. Do you know what she really wants him for? Look at the size of those drumsticks, said Madame Waddell. That is a beautiful bird. Mother beamed. Father puffed out his feathers with pride. Runt puffed out his feathers too. Then he threw himself on the ground. He flapped, he flopped, he hissed and sputtered. He gobbled like a maniac as he chased Madame Waddell out of the barnyard. Sacre bleu, screamed Madame Waddell. These birds are crazy. Then she drove far, far away from Wishbone Farm. No Swan Lake, cried Mother. No Star and Roll, cried Father. No Roasted Turk with Chestnut Dressing, cried Runt. Hooray! But no one ever listened to Runt. The day before Thanksgiving, Coach Giblet of the Crow City Corn Shuckers came to pick out a turkey. This is your big chance, said Father. Get out there and stretch your stuff. Turk sprinted to the front of the barnyard. He bobbed. He weaved, he tackled and dived. He mowed down every turkey who got in his way. That's one healthy looking bird, said Coach Giblet. Only the biggest and the best for my team. Father grinned proudly. Mother got tears in her eyes. Runt got tears in his eye too, eyes too. Then his beak began to drip. He coughed, he wheezed, he sniffled and sneezed. He fell to the ground in a hacking fit of quivering feathers. Good gravy, shouted the coach as he hopped back onto the team bus. These are very sick birds. The corn shuckers deserve better. Then he sped far, far away from Wishbone Farm. No football contract cried father. No TV commercials, cried mother. No Turk sandwich with cranberry sauce, cried Runt. Hooray! But no one ever listened to Runt. It was Thanksgiving morning. Turk's family heard the put 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 of a little old car. Out of the car climbed a little old lady. Maybe she's a little old talent scout, said father. Maybe she's a little old dance instructor, said mother. I hope she's a little old vegetarian, said Runt. Vegetarians don't eat meat, right? <laughs> father and mother pushed Turk to the front of the barnyard. Show her what you've got. But before Turk could perform even one pirouette, the little old lady scooted him aside. Aha, she exclaimed, pointing at Runt. Exactly what I've been looking for. This bird is just the right size for me. But no, oh wait, what? Cried mother. Him? Cried father. Help! Cried Runt. But no one ever listened to Runt, so he ran. He ran behind father. Don't let her eat me. He ran behind mother. Hide me, hide me. He ran behind Turk. 
I'm too young to be basted. Turk saw the look in the little old lady's eyes. He saw the drool on her lips. He saw the fork in the little old lady's pocket. He saw the roasting pan in her back seat. Runt had been right all along. Work with me, Runt, Turk instructed, or your goose is cooked. Turk bobbed and weaved. Runt flapped and drooled. Turk leaped and whir twirled. Coughed and wheezed. Runt gobbled like a maniac while Turk dived down and tackled the little old lady's shoes. Stuff and nonsense, cried the little old lady, climbing back into her car. I wouldn't eat these birds if they were the last turkeys on earth. That day, as the family feasted on corn and alfalfa, they had much to be thankful for. I'm thankful we're all together, said mother. I'm thankful for two brave sons, said father. I'm thankful for such a smart brother, said Turk. We're not out of the woods yet, Runt warned. Come December, folks begin planning their holiday dinners. Dinners that include stuffing, asked mother. Dinners that include gravy, asked father. Dinners that include m -m -m me, asked Turk. Over my feathered body, Runt said, we're not plucked yet. I have a grade A plan. And this time, everyone listened to Runt. Now see if you can find them. See them? They're snowmen. So, boys and girls, every year with my class, for the most part, I don't think I did it last year, I give them a picture of Tom Turkey. Now, I printed mine out onto brown construction paper. You can print one if you like onto white paper, or if you have brown, you can print it onto brown. But you can also just print it on white and color it. You can cut it out or you can leave it on the paper, but your job this week, it doesn't have to all be done today, is to work with your family, whoever your grown-ups are, brothers, sisters, you can all do this together to give Tom Turkey a big disguise. That way, Tom will not get eaten for Thanksgiving dinner this year. So you have to come up with an idea. Down below, I have put up some pictures of disguises that kids have done in the past. And you can look at those to come up with some ideas. Definitely come up with your own. You can use anything you want. You can color it to disguise him. You can use other papers. You can use beads or candy or yarn. Anything you need that you have. Let your mom and dad and grandma and grandpa and aunts and uncles or whoever's there help you. You guys can do it as a team, okay? And so maybe the tradition of eating old Tom here will be passing over your guy, okay? All right. So, wow, that went really fast and I did not expect it would go so fast. I'm going to let you guys ask your questions. But before I do, I want to everybody get your listening ears on. At one o'clock today, we do not have a live meeting. I am going to be doing training as, as a teacher. I'll be in teacher school learning something new. So you do not have to meet me at one. Also, we do not have reading groups today. So if you have a Monday reading group, it is canceled, okay? I will be back in time to do reading conferences this afternoon. As far as I know, if anything changes, I will send an email. If you are scheduled this morning to do a test with me, 
we still are doing those. OK. Sound good? All right, I will send out a message on announcements to your parents just as a reminder, but I wanted to tell you guys that first. All right, Karen, what did you want to say? That's for Thanksgiving. Um, first I'm gonna sleep with mommy and daddy and then with my grandma and grandpa. And at Christmas, I'm gonna sleep with my mommy and daddy and then with grandma and grandpa and then again like that. Oh, so you have you have lots of snuggles. That sounds fun. Miss Clara. I have this painting thing and you get to paint your own magnet. I painted one of them yesterday. There's one pink paintbrush and green, blue, yellow, and pink paints and four flowers. There are flower magnets and little um, jewel things that you can put on them. And there's a little paper that shows some. And I did one not exactly, but I tried to. There was orange on one part, and here's the one that I did. Right, those, did. Parts, those parts were supposed to be orange, but the blue paint I did. So you did a good job. It's pretty, Clara. That's pretty. You can pretty. go on um, the fridge. I didn't want to waste all my blue jewels, so I just used two and that pink one right there, but the pink was supposed to be on top of those three, so... I don't get uh, like this though. It's pretty. Thanks for sharing it. Ariana. Ariana. Well, I want to show you something. Sure. Um, just, I thought I was not. I needed to like, no, I'm going to have this problem again. <laughs> so, I, sorry, I'm trying to flip my camera. I wrote this, made that. No, oh, not. <laughs> it's for the Halloween. It's for Halloween. I didn't took that down in a while. And then I got something for Thanksgiving and Christmas. But I don't know if this will work, but it was like this. That's very pretty. You did a nice job. You have very pretty handwriting, Ariana. Thank you. You're welcome. And we also have this um, Canada thing that my mom gave me. I'm trying to look for the Canada thing because I can't exactly. I'm not really showing it. It's oh. not right over top of it, but. <laughs> pretty. What is that? Do you know what it's used for? It's. It's just a magnet, but there's leaves inside it. So if you shake it, then it'll like turn really bubbly. Ah, the leaves will like, like a snow globe, huh? That. Well, it's pretty. Thanks for sharing. It will just sit on top of the bubbles, and it's so cool. It is. And cool. I have one question. Sure. So have to disguise the turkey or can we just color it? Well, I would love for you to disguise it. Give it, you can color it with a disguise. And then on Friday, we're going to share on a flip grid on Friday, we'll share how we describe, how we disguise them. Oh, so do we like to disguise it? Yeah, so then you'll get to see how everybody else disguised theirs. Okay? okay. All right. Thank you. Scarlett. Miss Reyes, do we have to print it? Because my dad's computer, it doesn't have any ink for print. So I, I'm a really good drawer, so I'm going to draw it instead of printing. That's it. totally fine. If you do not have a printer, you can draw your own turkey and then make a disguise, okay? You can just look at the picture and draw it. So, uh... That 
I'll miss you when I don't get to see that much today. I and, and, and please go, I made this. I just got dad's about Wiener. Oh, cool. So you've done this once before. That's cute. You oh, you can put that on the cabinet. But it's actually made this out there. Nice. You can put it on this cabinet. It's very cool. Luke. I want to show my Christmas tree. Oh, love to see it. Oh, it's pretty. Now you got it all lit up. Well, thanks for sharing that, Luke. It's pretty. You're welcome. Miko. Miss Fred, I don't really know how to draw a turkey. Can you send me your draw and put it on my assignments, please? Honey, it's already there. You just have to scroll down. It's the um, it's on the bottom of this assignment. You know how like sometimes the pages I share have more than one page and you have an arrow. You just have to arrow down to get to the turkey, but it is there already. OK. okay. All right. And Alex. I didn't need to say that to you. Oh, you didn't mean to? All right. Well, friends. No, I didn't say that. I said I don't. I don't. I not say that anymore. Honey, I can barely hear you. Said I don't need to say. I don't say anymore. Okay. All right. Well, friends, I will see you. <coughs> If I have a conference with you this afternoon or a test with you this morning, I will see you again today. But if I don't have a reading conference on Monday with you or if we don't do a test together, I will not see you until tomorrow. So have a great day and work hard, okay? See you soon. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Miss Frank.